If you could choose to change past dilemmas, then what would need to take place? First of all, I made a mistake and I choose not to repeat it. You have to acknowledge that you're in an alligator pit and then get out of the alligator pit and then figure out how to not get in the alligator pit again. We have difficulties because we have emotional defense mechanisms that are invisible to us, that are our blind spots, so we miss reality. It's like being in a car where there's a blind spot and you just, you can't see unless you can learn to adjust. And that's what therapy and self-introspection and this book will help you with because there's a whole section about emotional defense mechanisms and descriptions. These are our childhood coping adaptive mechanisms that were healthy for us or we needed to use in order to deal with dysfunction in our families, the pain to try to keep the pain level down or discomfort down, but then now we carry them into our lives and then we do things that are not even appropriate to what the situation is that we're in, that we just can't see what our reality until we can, put, until we can understand our defense mechanisms. For example, denial, D-E-N-I-A-L. Don't even know I'm lying. That's a big one. Another one is projection. Often we don't like someone else, what we're actually doing, but we don't even realize we're doing it and we see it in the other person and we react to them angrily because of something inside of ourselves that we're not comfortable with. These things can get very much in the way of our interpersonal lives. And, and create, it's like a, a relationship is like a boat trip. You, you know, if you just turn a little to the side in the boat, you know, you're traveling along, you can wind up at it way far from the destination you intend to be. And as far as denial is concerned, it's like, you know, if you don't admit where you are, like you're in a car and you're on a certain street, and you don't admit that you're there on that street, then how are you going to get to where you're going? You have to say, I'm right here. And then you guys say, well, this is where I want to go. And then, you know, and then go that direction. But in life, often because of our, our blind spots, we don't even know where we are. So how can we get where we want to go? How can we get to happiness that we want and deserve?